Welcome back to the Civic Arena. The Penguins leading the New York Rangers by a score of 4-2 to two after two periods. And our guest between periods is Danny Quinn of the Penguins, who is uh, playing the right wing tonight on the line with Mario Lemieux. Danny, you told me this afternoon it's more like right rover. Explain, if you would. Well, Mario uh, plays high in our end a lot, so I have to still play the, stu the centerman's duties along with Bobby Arian on, on our line. Right now, uh, it's been mostly a special teams game, so we haven't really got too much going 5-on-5. Uh, five five, but right now with the lead, we'll just have to make sure we go out and take it to them and uh, not give them too many opportunities in the, in the third period. With all the penalties called against the Penguins in that period, is it difficult to get into a flow? Well, it sure, sure is. Uh, you know, we've had a few power plays, but they've had a lot. And uh, it, it takes away from the flow of the game, uh, especially when we had a really kind of snowballing for us in the first there. But uh, with the penalties against us, uh, Danny Morrell feels it, I think, because of the incident uh, a couple of weeks back, that if he calls a lot of penalties, it'll make it a tame game. Uh, so far, it's, you know, with, with, uh, with all the power plays and penalty killing situations, it does keep it that way. You know, in the first period, uh, we thought it was going to come out, be up and down hockey, but the Penguins jumped out to that quick lead, and then it got a little rougher than I think a lot of people might have expected, at least the hockey people, because the players were all saying that you thought it would just be a skating game tonight and really not a lot of the rough stuff that would carry over from October 30th. Well, I think they, they tried to get something going because we did get the, you know, momentum going. I saw Van Breesbeck change the stick, just little things to stall it because we did have it going. You know, Mario made that great play in the first goal right off the bat for us, and uh, we just sort of went from there. We had the momentum, but they... Uh, I give them credit. They felt felt that they put a few guys out there, and Island got in a scrap, and that other guy, I don't know how to pronounce his name, got in a couple. And uh, it's, uh, you know, give them credit. But for us right now, we're, we still have a two-goal lead, and we'll just have to make sure we uh, build on it and for sure win this third period. Danny, you had a couple days to prepare for this game, and I know the coaches wanted to get back to basics. Uh, what did you work on in practice the last couple of days to get ready for the Rangers? We, uh, more than anything, just broke down everything and started, just went back to basics and to our basic system. And, uh, just from the little things, from what, our coverage on face-offs to our coverage on our end to uh, forechecking, you know, a big part of uh, the reason we're getting a lot of goals scored, I don't think we're sustaining enough uh, forechecking on, in their zone. And, uh, and then when we do come back into our zone, we're, we're out of position because that we're letting them come into our zone and doing what they want to do. So I think we've done it pretty well so far tonight, and uh, as long as we keep having uh, no outnumbered situations in our in our zone, we'll be fine. I think out of respect for you more than anything else, Danny, uh, a lot of people kept it quiet about your wrist. Uh, you had been playing for the last couple of weeks with a bad wrist. Uh, talk about how that's affected your play and just the status of it right now. Well, right now it feels pretty good. Uh, you know, it was a, it's, it's, it's five weeks yesterday, so it's, uh, it was, I broke it in game five. But it was just like, you know, if you drop a plate and it doesn't totally crack, it just sort of has a little line through it. And it was just a bone in my wrist. It wasn't, it was my top hand on my stick. It's, it doesn't bother me that much, but it, I found that in traffic and certain situations I favored it. And there's just nothing you can do. It's just not the kind of pain you can just ice down in, in between periods. It's just, it's a... It's a different kind of thing. Is your wrist kind of sees up, but it's. Uh, I've been fortunate. Whereas last year, I had, I had a, in my other hand, I broke a bone in and I couldn't play. This year, I was able to at least play through it. And uh, whether not, not obviously not as great as I would have liked, but I feel better right now. And hopefully, with, with a few victories and everything, we'll still get her going. You mentioned out of respect, uh, they didn't mention it. I, do hockey players, if they know you're injured, take shots at it? Do you think? Sure. If somebody knows you had a broken wrist and you're playing with it, somebody's gonna, you know, you know especially uh, in the situations that you're out there. Uh, you know, I play a lot in the power play and. Whatever, if you have the puck a lot, your, your open season just a little chops. Even the the fluke that it was, it was just you know the top bone of my wrist. Yeah. It's just it's a fluke slash, and uh, it's it's just something that if players know, so it was best kept I think quiet. And uh, unfortunately for Mario, uh, when he hurt his wrist, he, he didn't couldn't finish the game, so everybody had to know. Uh, teams do, uh, you know, if they know about it, they're going to do it. You know, if you know a guy's coming off a knee, knee injury or cetera, you're not going to go after his knee. But if he's got a free hand open, you can whack him. Or if he's got a sore shoulder like Paul does, guys are going to run him just to try and make him favorite a little bit. Well, Danny, uh, we appreciate you coming over here and sitting under the hot lights here and go get them in the third period. Good luck. Anytime, Paul. Danny Quinn of the Penguins has been our guest, and we'll have more hockey from the Civic Arena. It's the Penguins leading the Rangers after two periods by a score of 4-2 to two on the Penguins Hockey Network.